Yeah, hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to train your own custom AI model using Leonardo AI. So we'll be using, I'll be using a couple of my pictures, my own personal pictures, to create my own um, custom character that will be based off my own pictures. So it's a feature that Leonardo AI has. It's called um, AI Custom Model Training. So that is an off this video is an offshoot of the previous video I created which I called um, creating car consistent characters using Leonardo AI and is is the fifth method I use in creating consistent characters so um, the first thing you want to do if you want to get if you want to use this method is to, is to compile pictures so here right here on this folder I have about I have 14 pictures that's these pictures over here. I have, there are 14 of them. But if you look at their size, I'll just highlight one of them. Look at the dimension of this picture. It's 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. So, Leonardo AI recommends a resolution of pixel dimension of 768 by 768. So, you would want to resize all your images for the best quality, for the best... Um, training processes you, you want to resize all your images to 768 by 768 so what I did is I took all these pictures and I went to Canva now in Canva you can create a canvas and resize it to 768 by 768 then you put in all the pictures so for example now if you see this picture this is the original pixel size so you resize them and you focus them on the picture, on the frame, on the particular person, the person's face or the character you want to focus them on. So you resize all the pictures on the 768 by 768 Canva, canvas, sorry. So you do that for all your pictures, then you save them. So that's what I did. I saved them, then I created a new folder. So in this new folder, all the pictures are 768 by 768 if you notice them here so i recommend you do that before you start this process for the best result so that's the first thing you do get your images resized then head over to leonardo ai i'll just um, um get back to the home feed so i show you how to get to this place so while in the home feed um you want to get to the training and data sets so that's here under advanced it's called training and data sets that's how you get to this place so you click this now here you want to click new data set so once you click new data set you create a name for it i'll just say akinwale um, data set um just say you can you, you could leave this place empty if you want to i'll just say um um akinwale um personal personal ai model so now we're, we're going to create a data set and um so it's it's so this is where you get this is what this place is called the data set editor it's giving you the name this the, the, you can still edit this you can see the name that we put you can still edit it even description you can still edit it but now it's time to upload your images you can either drag them here or you click here then you find your images so you remember i created a new folder where i put all my 768 by 768 pictures i'll just um open this i'll highlight everything then click open so you can see that Leonardo AI is currently uploading all the images. So once you've uploaded all the images, um, okay, I would just like to highlight something here. You can upload up to 40 images. I think I think the more the better. Yeah, but right now I just have 14 and I'll, I'll be working with that. So once you click, once you've uploaded all the images, you want to click train model. So click on train model. Now you're gonna it's gonna open up some settings. Now let's go through, through these settings one by one. Now you're gonna check your training resolution. Remember, I said you, you can use seven the recommended resolution is 768. So you want to select 768 by 768. 
then in the category um, character because obviously yeah, it's a character it's a human character that we are training on click characters um, you can leave this um, empty but I'll just say Akinwale um, um, custom AI model and um, again you want to use stable division version 2.1768 by 768 very important then now your instance prompt now this instance prompt means whenever you are prompting the keyword that you put in to make Leonardo AI um, um, fetch your AI model or use your AI training data set you want to put a prompt that it would use to instruct that you would use to instruct Leonardo AI to use your custom AI model so I'll just say Akinwale just put GPT yeah I think that's so I'll put Akinwale GPT so that's our instance prompt so we'll click um, start training now it usually takes about maybe 15 to 30 minutes I think then but what, what usually happens is that they send you an email when it's co complete so I'll just pause the video and I'll come back when I get my email but you can also click on view job status so I'll just click here then to show you the status of the training process okay I think it's loading let me see if it's still gonna work okay so you can see it's the status it's processing okay so I'll pause this video and when it's done it would kick off okay so um, the training process is done it took about 15 minutes so when it, when your training training is done Leonardo AI sends you an email that the training is done so I received it on my phone it took about 15 minutes and you can see from here so this this training um, data set the Akinwale data set that we just created with an instance prompt of Akinwale GPT um, the category is characters so the status is done so when it's done you can now head back to the image generation now you want to start creating images based off this training data set we just created so you click image generation and um, so let's start so the first thing you want to do is your model here you want to change it to the model you just created right now it's by default is usually on Leonardo Diffusion or whatever model you just recently used so you click it then scroll down to select other model so once you're here these are the various models but we're not interested in all these ones right now you go on to your models so these are the two models I have created so the one we just created is called Akinwale data set so you click view then you click generate with this model so right now Akinwale data set has been placed on the fine-tuned model so that's the first thing you want to do um, second thing is the style I usually use I would recommend you use photography as a start um, because right now we're, it's it's a human portrait that we want to generate so let's use photography so let's leave it there and um, alchemy we'll leave it on for the size let's use something that's close to the resolution that we trained at so let's click 768 and use um, 768 here but just just to, just just for a start we can change this later so we use four images per generation so let's start um, for negative prompts we're going to add negative prompts here I usually add deformed facial features and unsymmetrical eyes because right now we're creating a portrait so we don't want all those unsymmetrical eyes and deformed facial features to appear in our images so let's start generating images I'll just say um, a cinematic photo of a young African man named Akinwale GPT 
so that Akinwale GPT, you remember, is our instance prompt. So we're trying to evoke Leonardo AI to use our data set, to use the information from our data set. So let's just see how this looks like. I'll leave highly detailed and um, hyper-realistic 8K in the prompt menu. So let's see what it comes up with. So I'll just click generate. So I noticed there's an error in our prompt. So I'll change, I'll leave the name as Akinwale. So I'll cut this out. I'll copy this out. This will be at the end. Akinwale GPT. So the name will be remain as Akinwale. So um, a cinematic. So this is the revised point. A cinematic photo of a young African man named Akinwale. So that is the character we're trying to generate. Then we, the Akinwale GPT is the instance prompt. So you're not. You, you don't want to use the name as the as your instance prompt. If not, you would get a lot of fuzzy images like what I have gotten here. So we would redo that and hit generate okay so these are the images that i got with this prompt so we would just um make some changes um so for this style let's try creative um let's make it a portrait size so it's a bit like portrait size let's also um, so I put Akinwale GPT, our instance prompt, in front here. So a cinema. Let's change the text to be a cinematic photo of a young man. Let's remove African. Um, wearing a black T-shirt. Let's put T-shirt and glasses. So similar to the to the. This is similar to what I was wearing in the reference pictures in the, in the training pictures so let's see something um cinematic portrait photo okay. i want i want i want i want i want to see detailed facial features so let's say detailed facial features yeah so this is our prompt remember we're using our custom AI model that we've trained with our images right now we're, we're trying creative to so see let's see how creative looks like or well, let's include the um, negative prompt so let's generate and see how it comes up okay so this is this is what we have here now you notice we removed the African from the prompt but you could see the consistency in the person's face looks like it's the same person um yes the neck looks a bit long in these images um i don't know why but you can see the consistency in it so let's put um let's put um let's put the african back um let's put an african man named um Damien something. Let's put a random name and let's see how it goes. Let's try photography this time. Since we're doing a portrait. So generate. Okay, so this is what we have here. You can see again to the consistency. It looks like the same person but different hairstyle, um, 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 different um, accessory, drawery, different um, uh, glass frames but it maintains that consistency so um, let's change the style let's try anime this time and let's see what it gives us when we generate so this is what we get when we use the anime style so again good with the consistency um, looks properly trained from the model that we give it yes there's some there's some really poor outlines here but it it works in terms of how consistency this character is it's the character looks like it's coming to life so uh, we can see and um let's let's give it an action on walking on the streets let's say full body full body photo let's say full body photo Okay, so this is what we get 
with the full body photo so um so that's it for um this video series the process of of training your own ai data set using the another ai um if you want to get consistent characters um so it still works with the name method that i talked about in the previous video so you can um um, let's say, let's say if I remove this and I generate, let's see how it is, just to be, just to compare. Um, I want to compare a prompt with the name and a prompt without the name. Okay, so this is the prompt without the name. Just so this is a full body photo of a young African man wearing a black t-shirt and, and glasses walking on the street. So this is without the name. So that's to show you that. Leonardo AI prioritizes the inst instance prompt over the name. So you can see compared to this, you can see how similar this is to this. So that's how you um, go about with training your own data set. So we started from here to here. So this is what the kind of images that we used and um, this is what we kind of came up with. And these are the various um, images that we came up with. So that's it for this video and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.